God, omnipotent, deviated from pain, wearing aviator glasses so high above me, stuck in the struggle under his feet, gum shoes in the puddle, drowning. I fogged goggles, googling a smile, submerged in a coward to submerged as a coward to live, taking three shots to the head, half full off empty prayers layered up with the mistakes that make up me. Bullied. Life experiences betrayed the victim so innocent with the intent to change what I never wanted. Complexity and sincerity to where honesty is honestly the worst enemy I war with. Torn and split with morals among demons that pretend mortals breaking rules of the old kingdom. Marketing freedom with funeral bells and the praise of hell. Bed two bitches with the devil and chaos named politics and capitalism. And other isms that race to try to relate to me, lost so obscure to the eyes of septic by the blind, pressing the bit for the veins, aiming after life, slicing not so deep, ready to go to sleep. Peace be in your arms, so let me lay stiff and forget this kid and let live, unable to send him off to his fairy godmother. So then, it is my life to give. Even up the payment so I can end this enslavement and return to the roots. Interrupted by Jermaine wanting some juice knocking on my door in his shoes. Damn, kid wants to get out the house because he's bored and hasn't seen David in months. So he wonders why his only friend is gone. What happened to his grandmother and where she went after her cake? Just reasons more to slip my wrist and throw the blade in this little fucker's face. It's his fault I'm miserable and his fault my friends and family left and why my daughter hasn't seen or heard from me since he was kept. Fucking humiliation at its best. Time is pressed, getting dressed, slacking on the casuals, gradually progressing to the exit, tripping over lines, Jermaine sings, not even in rhyme. Happy to be outside going to a park. From seat to ground to curve, from start to run into the fray of little kids till shoestrings come undone. A crash off his feet into the dirt with a cry for being hurt. A woman from the side arrives with gentle words and a brush off, giving him a smile. Maybe I could get lucky, so excuse me. Haven't seen anybody in a while to say thank you to. Syllable strain to produce, to pronounce it clear. Taking a trip, announcing my announcing my face to her rear. Then to the dirt and Jermaine is full of giggles. Blushing a bit much, oh, is she more than a little? Apologies and words inter intertwine with this lady and adults sit on the bench. Easy at pace, such a unicorn she is, stuck in magnificence glare. Used to the hooves of nightmares trampling but my soul with the dis disastrous pitch. As she tells me about how she loves kids and works at a daycare, I'm caught between her eyes, lips, and dimples with face so clear. Till I hear a fall and see kids pushing Jermaine. That little shit just stops and cries and tries to get up till I get up and line roar. Heard the kids stand back and snarl at such a lethal predator. I'd kill him, you little f I'd kill him, you little fucks. Imagine what I'd do to you. Thoughts go blank. Without thinking, he hugs me. Thank you, Daddy. Are you okay, Jermaine? Come here and let me have a look. What a bunch of pussies pushing my kid around and giving him a bruise, blowing the little boo-boo and giggles finally like brand new. She looks caught in my trap. You are a super dad. Dad? Strange. I don't see how anyone would consider me one. This feeling is strange. What overcame me and made me stand up for my enemy? Why did I save him when I always just wanted to leave him? No. No, what am I talking about? I'm so confused. Is it her? Did she work a spell on me? Have I found it? My smile? Jermaine hugs me, hops on me till this lady finally leaves me with a smile and number. Ten digits and one million mistakes I have made in bad judgment. Could this be another one or a calling card from heaven to get my shit right? Plain sight, I have to change my ways and that has to do with that has to do a lot with faith. Feeling abandoned and afraid that I can do it and be happy. Dialing the numbers expecting a prank. Stretching the cutting board 
out across the sink, hearing an answer, sweet voice. Lady Luck talking as I cancel the engraving, putting the blade down tonight, self-absorbing in my own skin, hand in hand, trying to repair the soul I have within. <laughs>